Hey everyone, welcome back to The Dangen. On today's episode, I'm going over the brand new BenQ CM00G3 universal projector mount. Stick around. Hey everyone, like I mentioned before, we're going to go over another projector mount. This time it's from BenQ. The CM00G3 is a brand new universal projector mount from BenQ that costs about $59.99. You can check out all of the cool features that this mount has on the BenQ website in the link below. To get started, I want to show you a couple different mounting techniques that can be used when setting up this ceiling projector mount. It works with several of the BenQ products, but make sure before you purchase it that you check out their website to see if your projector is actually compatible. Now, it's very simple to use. It comes with everything you need in the box. I'll show you in a step-by-step -step process what it comes with, how to mount it, and what it looks like on the big screen. So thanks again for joining me here at The Dangen. Hit that like and subscribe below and let's get going. When the box is opened, you'll find the literature, the hinge cover, the hinge module that connects to the ceiling with the pipe extension, the pipe extension, including the area where you can run the cables. You'll find hardware and drywall mounts. You'll find four arms that connect to the projector. You'll find the hinge mechanism, which has an easy to loosen lever that allows you to adjust the projector angle. Some more hardware, including hex screws, nuts, bolts, and washers. A hex key, some more lag bolts, and the outer pipe cover. Installation of the projector mounting arms is fairly straightforward. Take three of the mounting arms if you're using the BenQ X3000i like we are doing, and you will use the black M4 eight millimeter screws and tighten them into place. Following the installation of the arms, you will connect the hinge module Make sure that the center of the hinge module is on the center of the bottom of the projector and lined up. Make sure to tighten all nuts and bolts and remember not to over tighten. Following the hinge module installation, you'll apply the hinge module plastic cover. Once you install that plastic cover, which clicks into place, you will then install the hinge module adjuster. Remember to install the hinge module ceiling bracket before installing the hinge adjustment module into the module plastic bracket. Once the bracket is attached and ready to install in the ceiling, you'll notice that the drop down from the ceiling mount to the top of the projector will measure roughly five and a half inches. The next step, using a ladder and safety equipment, as well as a person to spot you below, find the location where you'd like to install the ceiling mount on your ceiling for optimal viewing. Mark each hole required for the pro projector mount to be mounted to the ceiling, and punch holes through the drywall in the ceiling. It is recommended that you use at least one or two of the bolts through a joist in the ceiling. After the holes are drilled into the ceiling drywall, you can then apply 
the lag bolts and ceiling mount drywall screws along with the drywall inserts. Install the drywall inserts by carefully tapping them into the hole that you've created with the drill in order to get them to fit snug. You will then follow up that process by holding up the ceiling mount for the projector and inserting the bolts. If the fittings seem loose or it's difficult finding the joists in your ceiling, we recommend following the step that we took and using a piece of 2x4 wood to run between each joist mounting points. For a cleaner look, you can also mount the 2x4 in the ceiling between the joists if you have access. You can then install the projector mount to that piece of wood to appropriately fit where you need it in order to project onto your screen. Following the installation of the projector to the ceiling mount, run the test pattern option in the projector's menu and put that pattern in the display area where you will be mounting your projector screen. Remember to measure the size of your projector screen from corner to corner, left to right, up and down, so you understand exactly what size image you need to display with the test pattern. Once the location of the screen is found, begin installing the projector screen hanging brackets and make sure they are level on each side of the screen. Also remember, you need to make sure that it is as plumb as possible. The image could shift significantly if the projector screen on the left side is pushed in farther than that on the right side and vice versa. You can do this by adjusting the brackets using shims shown in the picture here. I always recommend following the BenQ manual to measure the distance that your projector hangs down in order to display the most accurate image on the screen and where to hang the projector screen precisely. Remember to measure twice and drill and install once if you can. Finally, hook up your favorite streaming device or game console, put the image on the screen and make sure that it looks exactly how you want it. All right, everyone, if you have any questions about today's video, make sure you let me know in the comments below. Like I mentioned before, hit the like and subscribe. I have more content coming out all the time. So thanks again for joining me here on The Dangin, and I'll talk to you guys next time.